Welcome to Stearman's On Tour, the channel that's going to drive the length and breadth of the country to bring you the best van conversions in tiny homes. Let's see what we've got in store for you today. We're here with Liam the Terrible, but he's going to show us around his tiny home on wheels, which I think tiny is the wrong word. It's, it's tiny in comparison to a house, but massive in comparison to a normal Defender. Do I just let you take it away and tell us what's going on? or? Because <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't got a clue. It's a bit of a mess. I've just been sort of oh, sorry, popped up here for three weeks while the head gasket was blown. So, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> this is what this mess is. But, Here's my double bed up here. No. Um, I've just had all my washing done, so it's full of clean clothes at the moment. Better, better than camera, full of dirty clothes. And all ca yeah, exactly. Yeah. It normally looks a lot neater than this. Single bed down here, but also sofa. If you want to use it for that, my wood burner. So I've got two sources of heat. I've got the diesel heater, which is on now, which is under here. And then I've got this wood burner, which I use mainly in the evening. Uh, diesel heater for mornings, wood burner for evenings. I mean, the last thing you want to do is go out and start <laughs> chopping wood up yeah, first thing in the morning exactly. hey, when you can, when you can flick it. when you can flick a switch uh, my shower is again now, now being used for storage but it is a massive shower for a van yeah that is compared to the shower i've got in my van it's, it's a house size shower yeah. Van, yeah yeah definitely that's uh, um, massive do they actually make a difference? I see a lot of people use Yeah, them. they do make a huge difference. I've, I've installed some of them in other people's vans. That's yeah. why I've got one on my own now, because they are really good. And the kitchen? Kitchen. So this one, this kitchen was built by Rick Beechwood. Everything else in the van I've done myself, but he's just a master at building kitchens. Still not finished. It needs painting and all that stuff, which is why it's, you can still see writing on it from where it was built. And it's a bit stained at the front from coffee and all that kind of stuff. So just not got round to doing it i've been busy doing so many other things so many other vans for other people yeah exactly i've been dead busy dead busy <laughs> yeah so i've got to paint it and all that but five overhead storage boxes uh, full of food cloves cloves playstations uh sp spices and condiments and then coffee coffee are you so you're a bit of a coffee connoisseur i do like coffee a lot yeah i do drink a lot of coffee a lot of coffee underneath again it's just all kinds of stuff i've not really fully moved in this is so i've only owned this van about two months now and i moved into it the day i bought it bought a mattress the day i bought it and then i moved into it and it had nothing in it it, had, it was just a mess so i'm still in the process of building it it's what it is. It is what, it is. Yeah. It is it is what is. it is. Yeah. It's getting there. I've, I've still got loads to do. It's like, have you got three seats in the front? There? Yeah, yeah, three seats in the front. Yeah. That's pretty cool that you can sort of still climb through. You know, I can climb through if I want to. Yeah. The, the the longer term plan is I've got a curtains put up there. I've just not got around to doing it yet. It's going to be shut off with a curtain, but other than that, it's going to be open for access. So did you put this box on? Or no, the box you... the box was put on by the previous owner. The previous owner weirdly was a subscriber of mine i didn't know that when i bought it so i, I can talk to him regularly about how he built it he put the box on and then just couldn't finish the job really so he sold it to you yeah so he sold it to me um i couldn't wait i couldn't I, this is my dream to live in a land rover so again the, the last two months i think it's just over two months i've had it now just worked tirelessly it, it's completely transformed from what it was i'll send you some pictures of what it looked like when i got it to compare. So that was a great little van tour around what's well, not really a van, uh, it's just Liam's tiny home on wheels. I'm not sure why I'm going to do this, but I'll plug his channel even though he's uh, tenfold bigger than mine. But if you uh, don't already subscribe to Liam the Terrible and somehow you found one of my videos before, is then make sure you go check out Liam the Terrible on YouTube. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because I need it more than he does. See you in the next video.